Hi, this is Mommy N, your Mommy Negosyo. And in today's video, I want to share with you my answer to the question, what are the most effective strategies for marketing my business to boost lead generation and conversion rates? Now, that was a question asked by Jana in our free 30-minute mentoring call. Now, before I forget, if you have not done so, may I invite you to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so that you will be notified when I answer more questions like this, okay? So let's talk about what are the most effective strategies for marketing your business so that you can boost lead generation and conversion rates. Question you ni Janan. And for the rest of you, actually, are you clear about lead generation, two big words, and conversion rates? Ano yun? So if not, allow me a few minutes to explain these two ideas to you. Actually, I did not understand itong mga words na to, mga lead generation at saka conversion rates until I became one of the licensees of a very good school which we ran for 28 years and which we gave up only, sadly, because of the pandemic. Now, it was there in that school as a licensee where I was able to dissect how a sale was made. Alam nyo ba yun? Kala ko dati, no, before I thought that people would just come to my store to buy or that they would just come to my school to enroll. Yun lang kala ko. Then what I learned from them was that there were two important things that have to happen for people to come and buy or to enroll. Number one is for them to come to my store. Dapat mapapunta natin sila. Mapapunta nila sa store natin or skwelahan or barbershop or whatever business you have. Or if you're online to your virtual store or your website or your store sa selling platform like Lazada, Shopee, and the like. Yung pagpapapunta sa kanila is called lead generation. When they come to my store, will they buy? Not for sure. But they will never buy if they don't come. Tama? If they don't see my products in my website, paano silang bibili, right? So lead generation is the first part. Or we call it lead gen. Lead gen is the very important first step in making people buy. Kung walang lead gen, walang sales. First step yon. And ano yung second step, mami N? Well, number two. Ito yung ginagawa ng mga sales ladies ng mga tindahan, the registrars of the school, or the sales page in your website or platform, and all the photos of the beautiful products that we have. They will do the convincing. And when they are able to convince the inquirers to buy, that's called conversion. And ang conversion rate is the rate of conversion. The bigger conversion rate, it means na yung mga pumapasok ay nakoconvince na bumili. So it's the conversion of the leads who come to the store. Which is exactly those who are coming to just inquire from inquiry, nagiging paying customers sila. So lead generation is from the outside they come. How do you invite them to come? Yun ang question. Pag dumating na at pumasok na sa tindahan natin, whether virtual or actual physical store, tapos na-convince natin bumili, that is the conversion. Yun yung two steps. So for Jana, I shared the five tips as the most effective strategies. Kasi yun ang tanong niya, no? Ano yung mga most effective strategies for marketing her business para ma-boost, mapalaki yung kanyang lead generation at saka yung kanyang conversion rates. So sabi ko, tip number one, talk to people. Share information about about your business with others. Don't be shy to tell your friends about your business. Family members, relatives, neighbors, kahit na sino. Because they might know someone who might be interested in what you're doing. Eh kung hindi mo ikukwento, malay ba nila? Tulad ko, no, wag niyo akong gagayahin. Kasi dati, alam niyo, ayokong ikwento yung aking business. I thought that talking about my business to others, who are not asking anyway, hindi, hindi ka naman tinanong ba't mo ikukwento? No? Ang yabang mo naman. I thought may yabang yun. I thought it was being boastful. My parents all always taught us to be humble. And so talking about yourself and talking about your business to others is not proper. That was my belief. Ngayon, do you have that belief as well? Masyashak kayo because for a long time that was my belief until I really met successful people as in really successful people. Millionario, multimillionaires, and even billionaires. And I found it interesting that they would always talk about their businesses. Parati yan. Yung mga simple-simple lang, maliliit na negosyante, they would just be handing out a business card and they would say, for example, I'm Juan de la Cruz and I sell appliances. If you need any or if you know of anyone who needs my appliances, please let me know, okay? Tapos ang next thing na gagawin nila is tatanungin nila ngayon, how about you? What business are you in? Now, nung nangyari yun for the first time to me, I felt really, really awkward. I felt put in a spot 
na napaka-impolite naman itong mamang ito. Tinatanong ako kaagad kung ano yung negosyo ko after telling me kung ano yung negosyo niya. And then eventually I realized that this guy, where he was coming from, was another belief. Ang belief niya ay business owners should help each other. So nag-flash yung light bulb. Light bulb moment yon para sa akin. Sinabi niya yung negosyo niya sa akin para matulungan ko siya na magkaroon siya ng more sales, tama? And then he asked about my business because he also wanted to know about me. So he wanted to know how he could help me. Ngayon, kung hindi ko naintindihan yon, then I would have made a huge, huge mistake. I would have missed a huge, huge opportunity. Tama ba? Yeah, no, magtutulungan kami. That was an offer to collaborate but I did not realize it. It's good that I realized it. Kaya, now, I realized that if I need more sales or if I need others to help me, this was the way to do it because most business owners play win-win. They'll help you first, they'll let you win so that they too can win. Now, this is why as business owners, we have to be continuously telling people about our business. Huwag tayong mahiya so that they'll also tell us about theirs. And when we do it, both of us win. Kaya win-win, right? Have you ever heard about the term brand stories? So, ang brand stories ay ang kwento behind your business or your brand. It can include yung kung anong product mo, kung anong prices mo, anong history ng company nyo, ano yung quality nyo, ano yung marketing nyo, ano yung in-store experience, ano yung itsura ng mga tindahan ninyo, purpose, values, location, and most crucially, what people say about you, yung reputation mo. Alam nyo ba na owners of big businesses, they even pay consultants millions just to put together a brand story. True, alam nila yung kwento nila, no? pero kalat-kalat kasi hindi nga sila professionals. Eh. These are business owners. Eh. But then there are professionals who can help you craft your brand story. And once crafted na yung brand story, pinapractice nila yan para they can talk to people about their businesses, when they are giving speeches, when they are interviewed, and when they are introduced. Yung kanilang brand story. So the brand story is not only part of a speech, it is also present in lahat ng kanilang marketing messages that goes out from them, from the owners, from their brand colors, yung kanilang logo, yung kanilang signboard, etc. They shout to people about who they are so we know more about them. And perhaps we will finally one day buy from them. So, kung even big business owners talk about their businesses at gumagastos ng malaki para lang mabuo yung kanilang kwento tungkol sa kanilang business, then why should we not do it as well, tama? Kailangan din natin yang gawin. Sayang naman yung opportunity. Now, talking about logos and signboards, let's go to my second tip for marketing your business to boost lead generation and conversion rates. And that is make a nice signboard. If you have a physical store or shop, create a signboard that looks attractive to catch people's attention and make them want to come inside. If you have an online store, kung online naman ang business natin, it will also be about your logo. Your layout, yung mga litrato doon, and all the messaging about your products. Now, Some people just go to Canva and create their logos and signboards and it's a good idea naman pag startup ka pa lang. But as your business grows, it would really be helpful if you can let an expert do it for you because they can look at it from your customer's perspective, from your brand story, and create something that can attract your customers even more. Now, tip number three is to offer special deals. Ang mga customers, gustong-gusto nila yung meron silang reason na bumili. So, give customers a reason to choose your business and to buy from you and not the other person or the other competitor. You already know this. The most attractive signs sa display windows natin are these two words, four-letter words. Ang first word is the word free and the second word is the word sale. ba? Diba? So, if you want them to come to your store or to stop scrolling when they see your page or your ads, offer discounts, promotions, or freebies. You can also offer mga bundling-bundling, no? bundles that promise to make it affordable for your customers to come and to make them excited to buy from you. So tip number four now, share success stories. Nako, stories na naman. Pinag-usapan na natin yung mga brand stories and now let's talk about success stories. I have a coaching client. Yang kwento to, no? I have a coaching client who was scared to ask her customers about their experience with the food that she has sold in her little eatery. Takot siya. Sabi niya, Mami N, kasi baka puro negative comments ang sabihin nila at baka maging affected ako. Sabi ko, sige lang, try it lang, just try it. And after I encouraged her to get feedback, you know, she was surprised that her customers were so excited to talk about her food that they have already actually na-share na nila yung kanilang mga experience sa kanilang social media accounts. Hindi lang niya alam. 
So ang ginawa niya, tinanong niya, pwede bang pa-share naman ng mga stories nyo para sa aming social media account, para meron naman kaming pwedeng ipakita sa ibang mga tao so that other people would know about your experience. And we can get more people to come to our little eatery. From then on, hindi na siya nahiya. So, don't be afraid of asking how your products or services have helped your customers. And you can actually even invite some of them to give you customer testimonials. Gustong-gusto nung iba yan. And maybe permission to share their stories as case studies or maybe before and after examples. Pwedeng ganun. Alam nyo, stories, whether success stories or brand stories, all stories are powerful. And they can greatly help convince others to choose your business over your competitors. So, remember to use stories. Now, finally, tip number five. Tip number five is to attend local events. Again, don't be shy. Ask around for local community events, mga fairs or markets where you can showcase your business. Para sa atin dito sa Pinas, the local negosyo centers of DTI offices are your best bet for all of these resources. Meron din mga church organizations and local chambers of commerce are a great help as well. Kung minsan meron silang mga events, so pwede kayong maglagay ng booth or table or hand out samples or kahit na business cards or brochures so that you can see, you can and meet potential customers and engage them face-to-face. Iba yung face-to-face, eh, di ba? So that you can easily build goodwill with all of them. So you will be able to get a bigger customer base through this event where you have your table or your booth. So was that helpful? Jana asked this question in a one-on-one free Zoom call in our Q&A Tuesdays. Kung meron din kayong questions or if you're interested in learning how to grow your business by growing your people, please let us know in the comments below para balikan namin kayo to let you know how we can help each other. Or kung kailangan nyo naman ng business mentoring na libre, sign up in our Q&A Tuesday so where you can get into a 30-minute Zoom call with me. And again, let me emphasize it's totally free. So till next time, this is Mami N, your Mami Negosyo, saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Are you struggling to figure out what kind of business to start? Have you been changing your mind about different business ideas? I understand how frustrating and confusing it can be not knowing what business to start. It can make you feel stuck, unhappy, and unsure about which direction to take. But guess what? I have developed a program just for you. The Discover Your Business Calling program is designed to guide you on a journey of self-discovery helping you find the best business idea that resonates with who you are. It also provides you with the guidance and support you need to make a confident decision and to take that leap toward a fulfilling entrepreneurial journey. Don't let the pain of not knowing what business to start hold you back any longer. Enroll in the Discover Your Business Calling program today so you can experience the joy and satisfaction that comes from building a business you love. Check out the description box below for the link to enroll. See you there! If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And when you do, it helps us reach more people and more business owners can learn from us. By subscribing, you're part of a big group that shares helpful information and supports each other. Thank you very much for your support and see you in the next video, okay?